so, there's so much happening. There's so much going on. There's so many issues facing the state. But I thank you for being here because you're able to help us as legislators connect names and faces and programs and hear stories about the impact and the good work that you do. And that's a very important thing. Um, it, it's difficult, to, as, as Jonathan mentioned, I sit on both the Human Service Appropriation Committee and the uh, K-12 Education Appropriation Committee. That's a large part of the state budget. That's well over half the state budget. And when you're going through countless programs and, and countless lines talking about projects that are happening in every corner of the state, intervening for millions and millions of Illinoisans, um, it's difficult to keep all that straight. And so when we have the ability to actually hear firsthand from you who uh, have been touched by these services, who provide these services, and who are strong advocates for it, that makes a big difference. I'm really pleased to be here today because when I first came to the legislature, uh, Ounce of Prevention was one of the first groups that really made an impact on me. I remember hearing from quite a few groups, uh, especially on the human services side, which I have a little background in human services, I remember hearing from so many groups, and there are some very good stories to tell, but what really struck me about the Ounce of Prevention Fund was how smart the intervention was, how best practices were adopted from states all across the country, how uh, measurable impacts were seen. But also, when you look at a lot of human service providers, I think that a lot of groups organize around seeing a specific problem and looking for a way to solve that problem. But sometimes when you're trying to solve just one narrow slice, you end up treating a symptom rather than focusing on a root cause. And so we see a lot of groups who come down year after year and are providing good work and are trying and are working towards a, an admirable goal, but a lot of times it seems like we're focusing on the symptoms and not actually going for what the root cause might be. And the ounce of prevention, looking at early intervention, looking at early childhood intervention, is such a promising uh, step to take because we're not just looking at solving a problem, we're looking at changing an entire trajectory of a young person's life with the ideal outcome that, in the end, you may not know that a problem ever existed in the first place. And what a powerful story that is, and what a powerful tribute that is to the work that you do. So I appreciate you very much being here, and, and the work that, that your folks in Springfield do to advocate on behalf of the efforts that you have, and also each of you who are working every day to do this work. It makes a big impact to us. Uh, we all know the state's facing some very difficult challenges in a lot of areas right now. We know the state needs to change its own trajectory so that we're not living in an annual cycle where you have to come down and, and plead your case every year and we're not budgeting anymore in a perpetual crisis mode. There are some very difficult decisions that have to be made in the, in the short term. But with a, a group like yours, a group that's so focused on the future, so focused on what, what can be and how we can make promising long-term investments that are in the best interest of the people of Illinois, I think you have a very compelling and very powerful uh, story to tell here, uh, here in Springfield today.